Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over some, uh, some bottles. And uh, I have a few bottles, uh, actually more than a few, and um, I've already um, painted them with a uh, slick stick. And that's just a Dixie Bell product uh, that uh, will prep your glass surface so that your paint will stick and it works really well but now you could just use some um, some uh, polyurethane or uh, some sort of clear finish and that would also help it stick but I just really like how the, the uh, slick stick works now I made these little molds and I'm not sure what the name of these are my sister had several clay molds and she said she just doesn't ever use them so she brought them to me so I, this is not something that I've ordered I do know she ordered it from Amazon uh, but I like this little trim mold here and I'm um, adding some trim around the top and I use the DAS clay uh, I just think it's a better value for the money I think it works well it doesn't crack easily so the trim that I put there on the bottom um, there will be a point where it starts to slide off. Uh, I do put my clay on uh, and paint it while it's still wet. I just let it dry for about 45 minutes or so, and then I'm able to paint it. But I think I used a little too much glue, and uh, it did some sliding. So um, at some point, I removed the trim on the bottom, which was fine. I, I think I liked it better without it, as it turns out. So uh, this little clock mold is another one that I got from my sister. So I actually got several. Uh, but I'm trimming the bottom part of this off because uh, it won't fit um, on my jar if I don't first remove that. And I'm using uh, tight bond here. I, I feel like it works better on my molds than any other glue that I've tried. Uh, but like I said, you can get too much and then it'll slide. So especially if you're not able to lay your jar back and let that dry for a while. So uh, I press this around the edges really well. I don't want to do much pressing in the center because this is not a mold that has a whole lot of detail in it. So you could very easily lose that clock face. And then this is this is a redesigned mold that that I did purchase myself, and it's called the trinket mold. Um, but some of these jars I painted in the color soft pink um, because I'm gonna do a crackle finish on these and uh, put put the color buttercream over the top of it, and I, I wanted just a little faint amount of that pink showing through. So, um, most of these jars are going to have um, pink and then uh, a crackle medium, which I'm just using Elmer's glue as my crackle medium, and then the buttercream. But this particular one, I just painted it um, buttercream uh, from the beginning. And now I'm trying to, I'm using some uh, brown wax, and a lot of times I use the Dixie Belle brown wax, but I just happen to have this Krylon, so I'm just taking a little brush and working some of that just into my molds, uh, because I don't want to change the color of um, my jar to this brown. I'm going to be adding some gel stain to it and I want to add some color that way but I didn't want to add this brown so just working a little bit into the mold just so that it's down into that detail and it will show up better and now I'm going over the whole thing with some clear uh, clear wax and th see there's where I start to lose it and I just end up removing that all together uh, but I go over this whole thing with some clear wax, and then um, and then uh, I'll use some gel stain. And the reason I'm doing the clear wax first is because uh, I don't want the gel stain to take too dark. And now that I went over this with the clear wax, I'm using some gel stain. And this is a Dixie Belle gel stain. And... Um, I'll try and add the, the color 
um, in the description box, but um, this is just a turquoise color, a light turquoise color, and like I said, I just wanted a hint of it. I don't want a strong color at all, or I would have just painted this that color, uh, but this gel stain will just kind of settle down into um, into the paint some and just kind of give you um, almost an, an even look, and I, I like that rather than having it just solid. So I'll go over this whole thing with this, and, uh, and then uh, this will be finished, except for I'm going to add some... Uh, I'm going to add some other trim around the top of the jar and uh, and add a hang tag. And I forgot to mention here that I used a little bit of uh, my um, bronze gilding wax. Uh, and this is also a Dixie Belle product. And added a little extra into that detail because I felt like it just wasn't showing up well enough to suit me. And then I'm taking my gel stain here and adding a little bit more of that turquoise back into, uh, into my clock face. And then after that, all I need to do is um, add some trim around the top. And I just decided to do that by, by gluing a piece of lace all the way around the top and I know this is wider than the jar actually is and I'm just going to fix that by gluing it down inside also so it'll just kind of fold around the top and go uh, and secure to the inside of the jar. So lace ribbons work really well to dress up a jar especially if you don't want to work with the clay mold um, or you don't have clay molds and just take some uh, some ribbon trim and glue it and I've even done that and painted it afterwards so here I'm just taking a little strip of fabric that I've just torn and uh, tying that around the top with a key and I'm only adding that key just because I have it and I like the look of it. There's no other purpose for it. And now I'm just going to tie a hang tag on it and this one will be finished. And because we haven't done anything to the inside of this, then it can still be used to store uh, whatever you would have stored in it anyway when it was just a clear jar. So for the next jar, uh, I'm using an apple juice jar, and I've already uh, I've already put a coat of of slick stick on this one, let it dry well, and then of course I added my mold after I painted this. So, uh, but I painted this in the color um, soft pink. And now I'm going over it with a coat of Elmer's glue. And what you would generally do when you want to create a crackle finish, which is what I'm doing here, is paint the glue on, let it dry to the touch, and then paint your, uh, your main color over the top, which is buttercream here. And I wanted just a little bit of that pink to show through. But like I said, I let it dry too long and I uh, didn't get nearly as much of the crackle finish as I wanted. And so um, I end up changing this up a little bit. Uh, but first I'm gonna put uh, this um, IOD Kindest Regards stamp on this. And as you can see here, you can do that with the large stamp just by rolling your item uh, over the top of it. So once I get enough of that on there, then uh, I'm going to start changing this uh, color up a little bit. I wanted something to settle down into the cracks that I did have and show up better. So I just decided to go over this with, um, with some um, clear wax first, and then uh, that will keep my brown wax from taking too dark and then I, I went over it with the brown wax. But here I've already done the clear wax and uh, now I'm going over it with some brown wax. 
and ideally like i said that will just kind of hang out into the cracks that i do have and uh, just give this a lot uh, better look and it really did work well i was happy with uh, the finish that i got on this the problem though is that um, once I did this, at this point I didn't know that I was going to do it, but um, I decided to put a transfer on this. I have uh, several transfers that I've just had left over from different transfers. Uh, most of them are Dixie Bell. And uh, so I had one I wanted to put on here, and you know that once you use wax, uh, it's not necessarily going to stick. So uh, what I did was once I got this wax uh, on uh, and decided I wanted to do that, then I just took some alcohol and wiped well where I was going to put my transfer. And um, I knew that even then I was taking a chance of it not sticking. Um, but I was able to get it to stick and... Um, I was happy with the look that I got. And I just love how this color um, looked with this jar. And like I said, this is just an apple juice uh, jar. And they still have these in the store. Uh, they're a little pricier than regular apple juice. But um, the apple juice is good. And then once you uh, finish with it, then you have a jar to use. So sometimes it's worth paying a little extra for the container. And like I said, I really like how this turned out, but I decided that I wanted to add a little to the top here. So um, I just um, tied some uh, strips of fabric around the top. And then I'll add a hang tag and then this one will be finished. And then I'll show you a close up of this one so that you can see how I was able to get the um, the crackle to look better. And then for my next bottle, um, I just used a little, I'm assuming it's a liquor bottle of some kind. I, I got it given to me, um, but I've painted it uh, with the slick stick. Actually, all the jars that I'm doing, I did with the slick stick. And then I painted it in the color soft pink. Did my crackle finish over it, uh, which, like I said, was just clear or was just regular school glue. And um, but again, I let it let all my jars dry too long, so I uh, wasn't able to get quite the the um, crackle finish that I wanted. So for this one, what I did was after I put my uh, buttercream on it and let it dry well, then uh, I took some clear wax and mixed a little bit of that soft pink into it and then went over it with, uh, with the uh, clear wax with a little pink mixed in it. And then I was able to get uh, just a hint of that pink back into it. And then uh, obviously it settled down into those uh, the little cracks that I had so uh, I was able to get a finish that I liked with this one and again uh, the bottles that I decided to do a transfer on I just cleaned them really well with some um, actually sanded this one to get some distress and then uh, cleaned the area that I was going to put the transfer on with some alcohol and then um, and then it, it did stick. But again, here I'm using uh, some script and I'm just using a regular script stamp. If you, um, if you Google, or not Google, if you look on Amazon and you search um, script stamps, rubber stamps, then uh, you'll come up with a lot of them and this is one that will come up. And I don't know what the name of it is. I've had it so long, but uh, that this is one that will come up, uh, and it actually is a set of stamps. So I really like how this little transfer looked on this bottle. And then on the back of this, I decoupaged uh, some of um, 
the remainder of a of some rice paper that I had. Um, I always, when I use transfers or rice paper, any kind of decoupage, I always save every part of it, and you can usually find a place to put it. So I thought the back of this was perfect for that little bit. And I even found a place here on the front for another part of that same um, rice paper. So um, I really like the way this one turned out. And uh, now all I'm going to do to this one is um, glue some lace around the top of it. And then uh, tie some ribbon around it and put another hang tag on it. So I'm just using here uh, the lace ribbon that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using hot glue and uh, gluing that around the top. And then I'm going to use some of this sheer ribbon. You also can get this at the Dollar Tree. Uh, what I don't like about the ribbon is um, that seam down both sides. I don't like that polished look. Uh, but what I do, and um, I wasn't sure that it would work, but I just cut uh, the very edges off and tear those, uh, the finished edge off both sides of that ribbon. And then that gives me a, a more wispy look. And I'm gluing this on because I want to make sure that it stays right in that seam. Uh, so I'm gluing it right around there, and then I can tie this uh, in the front and add a hang tag, and then this will be finished. Bottle makeovers may be uh, some of my favorites to do uh, because I feel like you start with something that is almost a throwaway, and to to most people it would be, and. Um, and just turn it into beautiful decor and you don't have much material in it at all uh, but uh, you can just do so much and I think you can give them so many completely different looks uh, but I just think they're fun to do so if you haven't tried them you should try um, now I, I do highly recommend uh, anytime that you're painting on glass, uh, to do a some sort of uh, base coat first. Uh, you could do a clear coat of some kind or a primer coat of some kind, uh, but this slick stick does work really well. Uh, but other than that, um, I just think they're so easy to do. And then the next bottle that I'm going to do is actually not a bottle at all, it's a vase. And I painted it with with the uh, slick stick, and now I'm painting it with the soft pink. And um, so I give this one coat of the soft pink, and then I did also did the um, the crackle finish on this, and then painted back over it with the buttercream. And this one, uh, I'm, I go back over it also with the clear wax with just a bit of that of that soft pink in it and work that into the cracks that I ended up with. Like I said, this will work really well as a crackle medium if you don't let it dry too long. Uh, now with the with the uh, crackle medium that I use from Dixie Belle, you can, uh, you can let it dry even overnight and it will still have that same uh, crackle finish that you want. Uh, It'll actually have plenty of crackling to it. Uh, but this is another part of that rice paper that uh, I'm putting on this jar. And any time that you have an odd shape like this that you need to decoupage over the top of, uh, just rip back into um, the, um, just rip back into your paper from all the way around and then you can just kind of work it how you want it. It may not be perfect, uh, but it still has a really good look and then it will fit snug against your uh, the item that you're decoupaging onto. But I like how that little vase turned out. Now this next bottle is a very old bottle and I just loved it, uh, but it had some staining 
uh, from whatever was inside it. Uh, I couldn't get it real good and clean. So I, I didn't really mind painting over this one. So again, I, uh, I just, with this one, I didn't uh, do a crackle finish. I just uh, did my slick stick and then painted two coats of the color buttercream. And then once that dried well, then I just took some sandpaper and really uh, did some distressing on this one. And then I just finished it off with some clear wax. But uh, I really do like the shape of this bottle. And it almost looks like the shape of some stringed instrument. But I, I just really like how that one turned out. And as you can see, it has some sort of metal hook at the top. So I really don't know what that one was for. But this one on the right here is one that I had done before with some molds and stuff. But I didn't like the decoupage that I put on it. I didn't like the color. It didn't sell well. Uh, it was just a color that didn't go with uh, most vignettes, I guess. And so I just uh, decoupaged over the top of that with some more of this rice paper so that's why that one's in there and you didn't see me do it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next thank you so much for watching have a great evening and god bless you and your family